Here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood, consider this uh, surgical pathology patient. Can you tell me what are the differential diagnoses that you consider for this patient? Uh, malignant melanoma and the fungal infection and cellulitis and abscess in the leg. All right, uh, how would you, what are the features of malignant melanoma that you'll consider or focus more on? Uh, uh, the clinical feature is that uh, the, the, uh, that may be different type of malignant melanoma that is uh, uh, nevus, black nevus, irregular edges, ulcerated, and uh, maybe bleeding and maybe painful and change in the size. That is the clinical feature. And in this case, it is and one it more matters. asymmetrical borders, uh, irregular borders, and yes, irregular and poorly defined and raised yes. and not raised the one. Okay. Right. How would you confirm your diagnosis? I will do the biopsy of this lesion and okay. uh, send for histopath. Then I will I can confirm it. From which layer of skin does the malignant melanoma arise? It is the superficial layer. The lowermost layer of the uh, yes, super yes, lowermost, lowermost. Lowermost, lowermost. Yes, lowermost. Okay. Once you are taking biopsy. Uh, in order to conclude or confirm malignant melanoma, what are the two things that you keep in your mind? Uh, what 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 are for biopsy? Two things I will yes. keep in mind. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, first biopsy is that uh, I will take the biopsy of a tumor margin, and okay. uh, and the uh, normal skin. Try to take the normal skin also. It will be the excisional biopsy if it is a smaller. All right. Well, what I was uh, looking for an answer was uh, breast flow thickness and Clark's level. How would you define these two terms? Breast flow thickness is the depth of the tumor from the stratum granulosum to the uh, lower depth of the tumor of malignant melanoma. And the Clark's level is the uh, which layer of the skin is involved. Either it is the uh, granulosum, papillary, this junction between papillary and granulosum, granulosum, or the subcutaneous tissue. Is and it a breast of one millimeter. Good. Is it possible uh, to take a sample uh, during procedure or during operation? Yes, uh, I can take fresh uh, frozen. Uh, frozen section or okay. uh, more surgery. Both are can be done. Only okay. only frozen section. Frozen section. Kindly tell just the frozen frozen section. Kindly frozen tell section. me the genes which are involved in malignant melanoma. The BRF, uh, CDK, and two. A and uh, BRCA2 or CDK. Yes. CDK4, MC1R, and CDK and 2 a Okay, which uh, malignant melanoma has poor prognostic factor? Uh, nodular and the uh, A melanotic. Okay, uh, in which groups or what are the conditions? One is uh, when it appears in the male when it appears in the elderly, when there is ulceration, okay, when there is sight in the lower limb, upper limb or trunk or head and neck, these locations, whenever it happens, then it is poor prognosis. Okay, can you please name or mention few skin conditions which are associated with melanoma? Yes, uh, these are the albinism, and uh, albinism and uh, multiple giant nevus, multiple nevus, and pigmentosum, pads, fritz, skin type one. 
Okay, and dysplastic nervous. Okay, what are the other risk factors uh, which involve melanoma? Hutch, yes. Hutch, yes. Hutch, freckles and uh, uh, red hair, sun exposures, and uh, uh, past, uh, past history of melanoma. Past and immunocompromised patients. Yes. All right. Can you tell me, uh, right, what are the different, you told me once before, but then I my question was different. Can you tell me the types of malignant melanoma, please? Yes, it's uh, superficially spreading, nodular, and um, acral uh, melanoma, and amelanotic uh, melanoma. Uh, these are the types of uh, melanomas. Uh, types, lentigo malignant. Lentigo there are five yes. types. Which one yes. have you told me? Uh, I told you uh, except lentigo. Yeah. Uh, okay. Nodular melanoma have you mentioned and acral. Yes. Desmoplastic. All right. Okay. Can you tell me how would you define epithelioid melanoma? Epithelioid is the uh, large cytoplasm. Uh, in malignant melanoma are of two types, epithelite and spindle cell. Epithelites are the large cytoplasmic cell with large nucleus and large nuclei and the nodular and a melanotic are the uh, uh, epithelite melanoma. Okay, how would you how would you know the primary site of malignant melanoma in this particular patient? Uh, I will uh, um, just I will do the examination and mm -hmm. I will check the lower limb examination and uh, nail and sole examination and then I will check the chest abdomen and in this, brain sinus in this examination. If, if you can jump in one answer, tell me quickly. Yes. In one uh, uh, lag, lower limb examination, yes. sole and all right. Okay, can examination. you tell me what should be the treatment for this patient? Uh, I will excise uh, these uh, lumps. Uh, with proper margins and uh, after taking the biopsy. And then uh, if there is a lymph node enlargement, I will excise it and then proceed if, because it may be a metastasis, uh, metastasis it, size. Yes. But it MDT. Is, yes, uh, MDT team. So, so your answer should have been you will discuss it within MDT. And then since this patient mm. has metastasized condition, then what would you do? So your treatment was wrong. So what would you do? Uh, then, I, then I will involve the oncologist. I will properly investigate CT scan, abdomen, chest, all blood tests, and um, chemotherapy and radiotherapy can be given in this case. Okay. Just suppose uh, you tried or you've attempted uh, an attempt of excision. Uh, Postoperatively, this patient's wound was red, swollen, and the culture revealed diplo diplococci. Uh, what would you do next? Uh, uh, I will. It is the wound infection, I, and I will treat the case according to type of organism involved. I will give the antibiotic, lay open the wound, the antiseptic dressing will be done. Uh, all right. Uh, One diagnosis you have to tell me very quickly. Patient is suffering or is having toxemia, which is rapidly spreading. So what diagnosis would you conclude or would you rule out? Uh, and necrotizing fasciitis. Very good. So how should that be managed or treated? IV fluids, antibiotic, and early operation, wound debridement, and laying open of the wounds for okay. daily dressing. Can you define the term SIRS, S-I-R-S? Systemic inflammatory response syndrome. Okay. What is the criteria? How do you confirm it? Uh, uh, criteria like uh, pulse 90 degree temperature greater than 38 or less than 36 respiratory rate 20 wc count less than 4 into 10 s to 9 or greater than 12 into 10 s to 9 and the glucose level is greater than 12 and altered mental state good thank you yes madam. all right uh one last question how would you know the phenotype of the tumor if you've excised the tumor, yes. you just took a bio biopsy, how would you know? There are two methods, uh, mm -hmm. either immunohistochemistry or yes. gene altered therapy, gene mutation uh, 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 reading. And there are different genes I can tell you if you want. That is the BRF, uh, NRAS, and uh, KIT genes, KIT mutation, and NF1 mutation. 
these are two methods all right last question please okay before i said that as well but i'm sorry uh, can you tell me two or three macroscopic and microscopic features of malignant lesion uh, uh, malignant melanoma macroscopic is the uh, uh, or irregular margins uh, and uh, ulceration bleeding and rapid growth and microscopic features is the uh, melanin cell uh, um, uh, pleomorphism and aplidy and hyperchromatism and increased melanin and uh, increased nuclei and nucleus size and these Good. are the thank you thank you excellent yes thank you can you explain this or describe the image please this is the malignant melanoma yes and uh, it is nodular type look nodular yes. type and, Melanoma with uh, with uh, uh, with uh, irregular margins and uh, uh, ulceration is there. These okay. are the and and surrounding skin is also uh, pigmented hyperpigmented patches. Yes. And uh, and the other thing is uh, size size is uh, size is size. very important. Whenever well, you are explaining or describing yes. the lesion. Always tell the size first. Size three into three into three into three centimeter on this picture. Very good. Yes. Looks approximately very good. Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. Yes.